What's up guys, it's Yvonne. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a Microsoft Ads search campaign in under five minutes. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you guys want to do is head over to ads.microsoft.com and create an account by clicking on sign up now. If you have any questions, you can go in and call the support and they will easily guide you through. Then you're going to follow the process, enter your name, verify your email, things like that. And you should then see a page that looks something like this. From here on, you're going to go on and click on create. We're going to click on visits to my website and search ads because we want to create a search campaign for people searching for specific things. Then we're just going to follow the steps here from top to bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is enter a name for the campaign. Let's say Yvonne Mana free guide. Let's suppose we want to promote my website here. You can set the budget, whatever you want to. For my case, I'll say five, uh, $50 per day. The more you spend, the faster you're going to see the results. You can choose the location here. If you want to choose a specific location, you can just enter them here. For example, United States, we're going to click enter and then you have to select it. Over here, you want to make sure you're targeting people in your targeted location and not this second option over here, unless you are a travel agency and you want to target people searching for the specific location as opposed to them being in that location. We're going to select English because this is the audience that we want to target, namely people who speak English. Next, we're going to skip those two things and go to the next step. And it looks like we already have a campaign with this name. We'll say free guide one. We're going to go in and say save and go to next step. Next, we have to enter our website URL so that Bing can scan our site and give us suggestions. So we can enter it here and we should see a list of different keyword suggestions here. Keywords are the words that trigger your ads to show up. So you can get ideas here and you can go in and add them over here if you like. What I do suggest you also do is you utilize the Keyword Planner tool by clicking on Tools and Keyword Planner. And that way you'll be able to get some more keyword ideas. So what I'm going to do is for this example, I'm just going to add keywords that are relevant to my offer. So I'm going to name this ad group Free Guide. And then here I'm going to say Affiliate marketing guide, affiliate marketing tutorial, and affiliate marketing, because these are the keywords that I want to trigger my ad to show up. Meaning if somebody types in affiliate marketing guide, I want them to see my ad. Next, we're going to click on save and go to next step. Next, we have to create the ad. So what we're going to do is go in and click on create ad. And the first thing we're going to do is enter our website, which is yvonnemana.com in my case, and then you can enter the headline. So I offer a free affiliate marketing guide on my homepage. And so that's what I'm going to say, free affiliate marketing guide. And what I'm also going to do is pin this to position one so that this headline shows up only in position one. You can leave it off if you like, and that way Microsoft will automatically rotate your headlines in different positions. Next, I want to add a call to action. So something like get started now. And this one I want to pin to position two as an example. In my third headline, sometimes it doesn't show up. And let's suppose I want to describe my guide a little bit. So I will say 55 page affiliate guide. And I'm going to pin this to position three. And next we have description. So we can describe in more detail over here about our offer. So in my case, I will say, for example, get started with your free 55 page affiliate marketing guide and make money potentially now. And we can leave these as unpinned so that it, it randomly rotates. And then over here, we can say something like, my name is Yvonne and I want to help you live a freedom lifestyle. Let's suppose these are the descriptions I'm happy with. I'm going to click on save. If you want to add more ad variations, you're welcome to do so by clicking on copy ad and then editing whatever it is you want to change. The next thing here you have are ad extensions. These are a little more advanced. They're not necessary to publish your ad and run your campaign. I do cover them in my other videos and my training courses. So check those out if you want a more comprehensive look at how to create Microsoft ads. Last but not least, we're going to review everything. We're going to review our budget, our bid, and set an exact bid amount. How much are we willing to pay per click? In my case, let's suppose I'm willing to pay 20 cents per click. Microsoft ads will tell me roughly how many clicks, how many impressions, and how many how much I'll be spending per month on this. So let's suppose this isn't enough. Let me see if 40 cents will be enough. 
40 cents is a little better. I'm estimated to get 560 monthly clicks and I'm happy with that. Keep in mind that these are complete estimates. They're not set in stone, which means you can set the bid to be a little bit lower. And if you're unhappy with the results, you can always go in and increase your bid later on. So we're going to go in, we're going to hit save. And here's our campaign, Yvonne Mana Free Guide 1. And if you click on it, you can take a look at your ads right over here. You can take a look at your keywords. Everything is here and you can go in and edit anything you want. You can add new keywords, you can add more ads, anything like that. And that is it. Congratulations, you have successfully created your Microsoft Ads search campaign in under five minutes. If you guys want a more detailed look at how to set up a campaign from start to finish with a more in-depth look at what each of the options mean, I invite you to check out my YouTube channel and my videos on YouTube, as well as my training courses on my website at evonmana.com slash old courses, where I do have a specific Microsoft Ads training course, which is about five to six hours long or so. And you can see all the different courses here and you can learn more about this specific course by clicking here and looking at the syllabus and what the course offers. And that is it guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.